Welcome to Significant TV, Significant Stories by Significant Entrepreneurs. I'm your host, Fran McNeil, and joining me in the studio today is Donna Marie Haynes, owner of Donna's Secretarial Service. Donna, welcome to the show. Well, thank you, Fran, for having me. It's a pleasure it and an is, honor. Thank you. It is my pleasure to have you on the show. Um, first of all, I wanted to say I love the maroon. Thank you. Thank you. It really goes so well with the color scheme. So thank the maroon and gold. So thanks thank for you. being with us today. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, Donna, you and I had a chance to chat a few days ago, and I was just fascinated by what got you started on your entrepreneurial journey. And I was hoping that you would share that significant story. Well, I worked in corporate America mm -hmm. starting in 1978. Um, after high school, after I graduated high school, I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. My mother was a secretary. She worked at Child Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, um, and I had taken uh, typing in junior high school, um, and I worked in the school office uh, before I graduated, and um, so. I was trying to find out what I want to do, so I said, well, why don't I follow in my mom's footsteps? And secretaries run in my family. My aunt was a secretary for 30 years wow. with the school district of Philadelphia. My mm -hmm. mom was a secretary with CHOP for 30 years before she retired. So I said, why don't I just follow in their footsteps? So my first job, friend was with a temporary agency called Gal Friday. Mm -hmm. People probably don't remember that. I'm <laughs> dating myself. I know. I look That's young. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. But, You've um, got the history. Yes. Or her story. <laughs> yes. And my first job was as a temp, working as an administrative assistant mm -hmm. with Gal Friday. Mm -hmm. I have worked in corporate America almost 25 years before mm -hmm. starting my business. Okay. Um, I worked for eight years for um, a health uh, um a mental health agency called Horizon House. Mm -hmm. I was their program secretary for eight okay. years. Okay. I did such a good job with them um, as the secretary. I was the go-to girl. So, a gal Friday. Yes, a gal <laughs> Friday. That's what I was. Right. And I loved my job. The clients, I got along with the clients. They would come to me. I would be sitting at my desk in my office, and the clients who had mental illness, they would come up to me and say, they would tell me, Donna, um, can you help me with this? I guess they saw the wisdom in me and that mm. I was kind. I was kindness, kind to them. The kindness. Right. Yes. And I try to be kind to everyone. And they, they would come up to me and sit in my chair and say, Donna, can you help me with this problem? Can you help me with that problem? And I would help them. I would give them wisdom from God's perspective. Mm -hmm. um, I stayed there for eight years. They didn't want to... Uh, fire me, they, they downsized me. Right, um, right. I didn't want to leave because I love the clients and I love my job. So I said, okay. Sure. So I went from program secretary to file clerk. So I found myself filing in the basement of the building, filing um, clients' right. files. Right. So and then what happened? What I happened, got an epiphany. What, I got an epiphany. What moved you to that, to being an entrepreneur? Well, I had already started my business in okay. 2000. Mm -hmm. Um, it was a home office, mm -hmm. and I would do um, typing for some of my clients in mm -hmm. my living room. My husband and I lived in a duplex back then, mm -hmm. so I had my computer in my living room. So clients would come to my house, I would do their work, and that's how I would do it. And I was working full time, mm -hmm. um, working at Horizon House and doing diners on the side. Okay. So when I found myself finally in the basement, I got an epiphany. I'm like, I'm a Christian. God said, you are the head and not the tail. You don't have to take this. You're better than this. You're a business owner. So mm -hmm. I went home. I didn't tell my husband. What? I just, no. I've heard this story <laughs> before. <laughs> I told you the story when we chatted. And I didn't tell my husband. I went on my computer. I typed up a letter of resignation. I went in the next day. I did my job as usual, 4 o'clock. I went up to my supervisor's office. I gave her my letter of resignation, mm -hmm. and that was that. Okay. And I got my little stuff together in my in my uh, my desk, 
I got a box, put all my stuff in my box. I didn't tell anybody. I just walked out. Okay. And okay. which was not good. But my supervisor told HR, mm -hmm. and so they knew that I had quit. Right. So um, when my husband came to pick me up in the car, he, he, he parked in the parking lot. I was sitting outside <laughs> waiting for him. I have this box in my hand. He's like, Donna, what's the box? I'm like, I just quit my job. He's like, what did you do? I'm like, I am going to step out on faith. God has told me I am the head and not the tail. So I'm going to step out on faith. Right. And I have, I have worked um, with my business mm -hmm. since 2000 up until two, 2016 now, and it's still going strong. And I'm going to pause you there. That is a powerful story. Thank you. I hear the faith. I hear the experience, I hear the family being involved in secretarial services. Yes. Let's fast forward because clearly you're passionate about your business. What drives that passion and what's been driving that passion over the last years? Well, I love what I do. Mm -hmm. I love helping people. Um, God has given me, as you know, when you get saved, mm -hmm. um, God, you have spiritual gifts. Mm -hmm. I had the spiritual gift of administration and helps. Mm -hmm. So I have combined the two um, to use um, my spiritual gifts in the secular world. Mm -hmm. And God has blessed me so much. Mm -hmm. um, it drives me. It really does. Because I get up in the morning and have a purpose um, to help mm -hmm. people using my that. gifts to Love help that. CEOs to help individuals. I do resumes. People come to me, Donna, can you do a resume? Mm -hmm. Can you do a website? Um, can you do typing? Okay. I use my, my gifts to help people and I love helping people. That, that's why I'm here. And I see that. I see that. So we met several years ago. We've been kind of traveling in similar circles, but yes. we met several years ago at an event and at that event it was really part of a series of awards and recognition that you've received. Share with me and the audience those awards and why they're important to you, what they mean. Well, it's really, it's just confirmation that I'm doing a good job. Mm -hmm. Everybody wants a little pat on their back saying, mm -hmm. good job, you've done a good job. And I didn't expect this. I was um, sitting in my office working in 2000, as I told you, mm -hmm. in 2015, I get a call from a gentleman who's a reporter for the Philadelphia Business Journal. He says, Donna, we are naming your, your company, Donna Secretary of Service, number 48, top minority business in Philadelphia. Congratulations. I was floored. Mm -hmm. And he says, I want to interview, do you have a few moments? I want to interview you <laughs> to be in our news, in our magazine and online. I'm like, yes. <laughs> sure. So he interviewed me and it appeared uh, a couple weeks later online and in their magazine. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm like, oh. And uh, fast forwarding, 2015, I receive another call and they tell me um, my business was named number, I moved up from 48 to right. 42. So now I am Phenomenal. number 42 Phenomenal. top minority owned business in Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. This is the blessings of God. Mm -hmm. And um, in 2016, I made the Philadelphia Business Journal Book of Lists. Mm -hmm. And I was invited to their um, award ceremony. And I met you, Fran, right. at the Philadelphia Business Journal uh, Minority Awards, right. Top Minority Business Owner Awards. Right. And I remember I came up to you. You have received your award. Right. And congratulations on that. Right. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. You. I came up to you, I introduced myself, right. I gave you my card, Absolutely. we're also LinkedIn, mm -hmm. um, we're on LinkedIn together, right. and I was, just, I was just happy that, well I know you're a smart girl, a good business owner like I am, mm -hmm. so I like to surround myself with people who are going places mm -hmm. that I could glean from and that mm -hmm. I could um, give to them. Mm -hmm. So I have the saying, that eagles fly with eagles, yes. buzzards fly with buzzards. Mm -hmm. So I like to surround myself <laughs> with eagles, no negative people. Mm -hmm. Eagles fly with eagles, buzzards fly with buzzards. And that's scripture too, it's also scripture. Yes. Yes. Well, 
You had, again, I'm going back to our conversation because you shared some really significant points that I think are important for others to hear as well. One of the things that's important as an owner is to deliver on results. Yes. And you have so many clients over the years. Is there a specific client result that you can share publicly that really embodies the kind of service that Donna's secretarial service provides to clients? Yes, one client comes to mind. Um, I received a call from um, um, our Judge Arlen Adams' wife, Mrs. Adams, Judge Arlen Adams, before he passed away mm -hmm. last year, he was a retired federal judge. He was appointed by President Reagan, mm -hmm. and he served, he was a lawyer first, and he um, was a part, he was a partner in a very mm -hmm. uh, prominent law firm in Philadelphia. Um, he also helped move the Barnes Foundation um, oh. Museum mm -hmm. from the suburbs to downtown Philadelphia near um, uh, free library so mm -hmm. that um, underprivileged uh, people can see the works, the great works of art instead of the um, influential. Mm -hmm. So he was a part of moving that. Um, I was so blessed and honored that he would choose my company mm -hmm. to um, do his typing for him. I was privileged to type his codicil, mm -hmm. all his certificates of deposit, and I didn't do his will, but I typed his codicil. So I typed letters to his attorney. I was his secretary for about a year before he um, developed dementia. He was, mm -hmm. he was preparing to die. Mm -hmm. He was preparing to pass away. And he was a rich man. So he um, was preparing to leave his legacy to his family. Mm -hmm. and he asked me to type up his, his wow. papers for him. That is an honor. Yes. That absolutely is an honor. He, he trusts me so much, mm -hmm. I would go to his condominium mm -hmm. in Elkins Park, which was close to my office. He would welcome me into his condominium. It was beautiful. Mm -hmm. He showed him and his wife, have a p they have a piano in their living room. He showed me, p he's friends with um, Sandra Day O'Connor. Right. He showed me a picture of him and her. Mm -hmm. um, President Reagan mm -hmm. appointed him as a federal judge in the mm -hmm. third district. So I was really, I was really honored. I was really honored that he would I, pick me. I understand that. And I that did the is, best job. I do the best phenomenal. job I can for my clients. On my website, it says I put scripture on there, and a lot of people, to be honest, um, don't want to work with me mm -hmm. because um, they tell me, "Well, Donna, you cannot incorporate faith." with mm -hmm. business mm -hmm. as two different entities. I disagree. Mm -hmm. um, I have gotten clients because I am a Christian. Right, right. I have lost clients because I'm a Christian. Well, Girls don't, other, other entrepreneurs don't want to work with me right. because they think I only work with Christians and I, I had to that. set the record straight. Right. Well, good. Well, you know, that's part of the privilege, yes. in a positive sense, of being an entrepreneur yes. is you can work based on your values yes. and you can provide services that are meaningful to others. And it really has been a pleasure Thank you for having this conversation and being Thank able to share it with Thank all of the viewers. Thank you, Fran. My pleasure. Now, I know some people are wondering how they can get in touch with you. Yes. Would you share your website and other ways that they can contact you? Donna, you can contact me, Donna Marie Haynes, at Donna, Secret Donna Secretarial Service at www.donnasecretarialservice.com. You may also call me at 1-855-366-6271, or I'm on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, under Donna Marie Haynes, or you can follow my blog, which is um, Donna Secretarial Service .wordpress com. Thank you. Terrific. Donna, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so thank much. You I just want to join you. hands and thank say you. thank you for really being here and providing services to others for such a long period of time. It thank makes you. a difference. You are to be honored, thank and I'm glad that the Philadelphia Business Journal has recognized you thank so many you. years. Thank, Thank you. you. It's been a pleasure talking to you, friend. Thank, Thank you. you for letting me share. Oh, my pleasure.
And so as we conclude this episode of Significant TV, I want to again encourage you to patronize all of our guests. Our guest today was Donna Marie Hames of Donna's Secretarial Service, and you can find her on the web. I'm Fran McNeil, your host, bringing to you significant stories from significant entrepreneurs.